To prime my skin, I'm going to be using my Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser by Maybelline. You can get this primer from Clix or Discam. I love this primer. It helps me minimize my pores. Um, as you can see, I'm putting it directly where I need it. For foundation, I'm going to be using my Stick Foundations from Revlon. The Color Life Proof um, 24 Hour Stick Foundation in the shade Toast and True Beige. I'm using two different stick foundations because yeah the one is just too light and the other one is just too dark so i'm just gonna mix the two but i'm putting the light one um under my eye on my forehead and on my chin actually where i would normally highlight and then i'm putting the darker one where i would normally contour and then um these products you can get from clicks or this came any local pharmacies actually all the products that i use on this tutorial and then i'm just going to take my beauty blender make sure that your beauty blend is a bit damped and make sure that you tap don't drag your foundation when you blend it out because you don't want to move your primer And then for concealer, I'm going to take my Revolution Concealer in the shade C6. This is very, very light for me. So I'm just using this to brighten up the places that I want to, you know, highlight. Um, so yeah, and then I'm just going to blend it out. And then to cream contour my face, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild um, Concealer in the shade Dark Coca. And then um, obviously, as you know by now, um, you highlight your face or you cream contour your face or you use bronzer um, to give your face a bit of dimension structure because honestly your face is not the same tone all over even if you don't have foundation on. So... This is what you gotta do to give your face a bit of a lift and to look snatched. Obviously, I'm not going to leave my nose like that. I'm going to take a beauty blender and make sure that I blend all those harsh lines. Blending is just the key to everything. Just You just need to blend. Blend, blend, blend. And then, I love this powder. I'm going to use this pressed powder from Wet n Wild in the shade Warm Beige. I'm just going to set everything before I use my loose powder. And then to set my highlights, I'm going to use my Revolution um, Loose Powder in the shade Banana. And then I'm going to take the same loose powder and just my beauty blend and kind of like trim my contour because it's just too low and you don't want to look like your face is dripping. I don't know what. You want to look lifted. To set my contour, I'm going to take my highlight and contour pro palette from NYX Cosmetics and I'm going to use those two shades. This palette, I don't think you can get it from any local um, pharmacies. I'm not sure because I got it straight from NYX um, standalone store in Cano Walk, Cape Town, obviously. So I'm not sure. And then I'm just going to take my pressed powder and I'm going to use that to wipe off all the excess loose powder that I used to trim my contour. I always forget about my nose, but I'm going to take the loose powder and put it on my nose and the brush of my nose so my nose looks snatched and i'm gonna go back to the same palette that i used to set my contour and i'm gonna take the lightest shade the fish out of the two shades that i showed you guys the lightest one and i'm gonna snatch my nose 
because I started with my um, face first and not my eyes, I'm going to put a bit of powder so I don't have any fallouts. Oh, actually, if I have any fallouts, it doesn't fall on my face. It falls directly on the powder so I can just brush it off. And then to prime my eyelids, I'm going to take the same concealer that I've been using, the Revolution one. And I'm going to put it on my lid and just blend it out. This concealer works wonders on your eyes, obviously because it's too light. I'm going to use the Sway by It eyeshadow palette from NYX Cosmetics. I got this um, directly from the NYX store. I love this palette. As you can see, it has 40 shades, um, which I think that's very good. Um, especially if you're a beginner, I'm going to use those three shades. So this eyeshadow palette doesn't have names, it has numbers. So I can't really tell you which shade I use and I'm really not going to count these numbers, honestly. But I'm going to use the first shade just to set my concealer at the top so that when I use my second shade, it blends easier. And as you can see, I tap the eyeshadow first before I blend it. So I really don't blend it directly. I tap it on, like build it up and then blend it after. I'm going to do the same with my second shade. I'm firstly going to build it up and then blend it. So I just tap it on and build it up and then blend it afterwards because I just feel like it lifts the concealer if you blend it directly. Also, I don't put the shade directly where I want it. I put it a bit lower because I'm going to blend it upwards. I want it to be a nice transition color. And then I'm going to take um, dark blue, I think, yes it is dark blue. And then I'm also going to do the same, I'm just going to tap it on and then blend it out. As you can see, I don't put it directly where I want it because I'm going to blend it upwards. I want it to blend into the transition color that I used, the blue. And then when I blend my eyeshadow, I blend in circular motion um, because it just blends easier and I mean... I don't like drag it like from left to right or from right to left. I blend in circular motions and then I pack it on again. Um, and then I blend in circular motions and then I pack it on again. Because it looks neater and it looks like it really worked hard, you know. And then to cut my crease, I'm going to use the same concealer that I've been using from Revolution in the shade C6. Um, with this, just take your time, guys. It's very easy. So what you do, you put it on your lid. You look up. It's going to tap directly where um, you would cut your crease or where your crease is. And I know a lot of people have small eyes. My eyes are big, so it's easier. Even if you have small eyes, do it the same. But just like if you have hooded eyes, do it the same way. And then just go a little bit on top of your crease. So it looks a bit bigger so people can see it. And it doesn't look like you literally just have a line of a cut crease. I don't know if that makes sense. And then I'm just going to take a brush and like blend all the excess concealer on my lid. And then for my next palette, my last palette, I'm going to take this Revolution um, Reloaded Velvet Rose 
I should have palette I got this from clicks and I'm just gonna take those shades um the first shade I'm gonna use is the brown I'm gonna put it on the outer edges of my eye and then I'm just gonna blend it in like I said I tap it on first and then blend it in after And then I'm going to take that um, gold shimmer shade and put it directly on my lid. You know, just tap it on, build it up till it looks like you want it to look. So obviously I can't reach the inner part of my crease, so I'm just going to take a small brush and use that brush. Then I'm going to go back um, to that shade and just make sure that everything is just blended in together. And then I'm going to take that gold glitter shade and just put it, you know, on top of that shimmer shade because I want it to be more pigmented, you know. For my under eyes, I'm going to use that brown shade and then I'm just going to blend it out. And then I'm just going to take a brush and just wipe off all that um, loose powder out. Well, I'm just going to blend it out. My face looks dry as hell, I know, but it's cool because you're still going to set your face. Um, this method actually doesn't work for me because I have dry skin. But I do it anyway because I wasn't sure if this um, Revolution palette had fallouts or not. And then I'm just going to take my Wet n Wild Liquid Liner, the H2O Water Resistance, I think. Um, you can get it from Plex, like I said. And I'm just going to draw a line just so that it's easier for me to stick on my falsies. And then for mascara, I'm going to use my Rimmel Mascara. For lip liner, I'm actually going to use this Revolution eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take that brown and I'm going to line my lip with an eyeshadow. It's going to look weird at first, but trust the process, it always works out. For my lips, I'm going to use um, two Lipsticks from Revlon. The first one is the Ultra HD Matte Lip Mousse in the shade. Well, I don't know what shade this is in, but I'll leave it in the description box below. So make sure to check it out. I'll leave both of them in the description box below. So make sure to check that out. Um, for blush, I'm going to use my Revlon blush in the shade Bomb Rose. And then for highlights, I'm going to use my Essence highlighter in the shade. Yeah, I don't know and I can't find it. So I'll leave it down in the description box below. Actually, I'll just leave everything in the description box below. So make sure to check it out if you want to see exactly um, if you want to see the products that I used. And then to set my face, I'm going to use my Wet n Wilder setting spray. And 
yep that is it and then i'm just gonna take a beauty blender to make sure that everything is blended out and make sure that you like um use a fan or something to dry your setting spray so your makeup can last the whole day And that is it guys i'll also leave the name of the lashes that i used in the description box below so make sure to check that out if you want to see everything that i used in this tutorial thank you for watching um don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you in my next video